Hello everybody, this is Inger. Like I promised in the last video, I'm not only going to be talking about myself this time because this video is to give you some advice on starting a band in Japan. Uh, or, of course, if you just want friends in the whole band scene, this, these tips are also for you, I think. In case you didn't see the last one, just be aware that this is not how I went about it, but these are some tips that I think will be helpful if you come here and you know, you've never been here before and all that stuff. So here we go. Step number one is something that I tell anyone who's going to Japan for anything more than just travel. Learn some Japanese. In some areas you can definitely get by just by speaking English, but you'll just have so much more freedom and more opportunities if you speak some Japanese. A lot of people think, yeah, I'll just pick it up when I get there, I've done that in other countries, and um, while that's not completely unheard of, most of those people find later that it really wasn't that easy and they end up being pretty lonely for a while and really like wasting a lot of time by not having done anything before they came. I know that it's not fun to hear because like it sounds like it's going to be really difficult and stuff. I think that if you if this is something that you're really interested in, it will not be that difficult to learn some basics and then you'll have something to go off on even if you do want to just try to pick it up when you get there, you'll have a starting point and I think that will make a huge big change. So more than anything, uh, for your own sake, please learn a little bit of Japanese before you come. It'll be much, much easier to make friends, especially in the band community, because that is what I want you to do. Step two, go to concerts. And I don't mean huge famous bands, although definitely go to those as well. There are so many good bands that you can see. But in this case, I mean smaller, maybe indie shows, for example. Again, if you don't have anybody who can take you, or you don't know where to go, or even any bands that you would want to see, you can Google for venues near you. A concert venue is called Live House in Japan. So you can Google that and find something close to you and find some schedules. Check out some of the bands that are listed and see if they're your kind of thing. Most bands, even pretty small ones, will have social media stuff these days. And a lot of them will have like places where you can actually hear some of their music even. And like you will know if this is something that you might be into. And then you can usually contact the band or even the venue directly for tickets. Some events will require you to buy a ticket at a convenience store. It's called an L-code ticket. And if anyone is interested, I can make a video on that because that's actually kind of difficult. Of course, you can also ask the staff at the convenience store to help you out. Again, easier if you know a little Japanese. P.S. If you want tickets to see the number zero, you can send us a mail or a DM. We speak English. Step number three, make friends. If it was only that easy, right? So I want you to talk to people at the venue. And as someone who's actually very shy when it comes to taking initiatives like this, I know that's not an easy task, okay? Pro tip, people tend to get a little more talkative and easier to engage after they've had a little bit to drink. That's definitely true about Japan. And listen, you don't necessarily have to talk to the band playing that day, although I encourage you to try. Most people are happy to know someone came to see them, unless they're douchebags, or of course unless you're acting like a douchebag. But for now, I want you to just focus on getting to know people. They don't need to be musicians themselves, they're just people who are interested in music, like you. So just make friends first of all for the sake of making friends, don't be just scouting for band members. Friends are important! Step number four, be sure during your whole process to let people know what your craft is. It can feel embarrassing to talk about yourself, trust me, why do you think I'm shit at introducing who I am and what I do? I don't even think I did that properly in this video. For example, most people who know that I do music have no idea that I also draw and paint and like that's a huge thing to me um, because I kind of figure, you know, they probably don't care about that anyway, right? And if they do care, they'll pick up on it by themselves, right? Guess what? 
they won't. You have to talk about it. You have to have conversations about it. And you have to talk about wanting to start a band if that's what you want to do. Of course, be careful of being that person who always only talks about themselves though and be careful about bragging because uh, nobody likes that. There's a balance, you know. Chances are one of your new friends will want to do some music with you or they can introduce you to someone else who's looking for band members. If that doesn't happen on its own, you can always like directly ask them to introduce you and or like ask if they have any friends who might be interested. And again, don't just start interrogating people you've met only once or just talk to a few times. Remember to be a human. If someone's being a friend and takes interest in you, then remember to be a friend back. Befriending people just because you want to use them is not nice, is what I'm trying to say. Step 5. So say you got a band member and now you need more. Unless you can find them through the jungle telegraph. Is what, what do you call it in English? The grapevine? The pony express? I don't think that's it. Um... I mean friends asking friends and so on, you know. Unless you can do that, you can go the old-fashioned route of putting up a note at a practice studio. People still do this, I see it all the time. So say what kind of music you want to be making, what members you're looking for, all the stuff like that. You can also of course do that on the internet, I know people used to do that. I'm not sure, to be honest, how effective that is if you're just like a starter outer band type thing. If people already know who you are and stuff, it might work, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's very... if people will find you even if you're just starting out. Whew, I did not think there was gonna be that many steps. So two little bonus follow-up uh, hypothetical answers to hypothetical questions that you might have after this. First and easiest, can I just respond to one of those notes myself? Of course you can. Especially if you're a drummer, you'll be in high demand. There are never enough drummers. If, however, you're a singer or a guitarist, um, that's kind of what everyone wants to be. And a lot of the time those notes are written by singers or guitarists who wants more members. Last bonus follow-up hypothetical question-answer thing. And you've probably have been asking this since the beginning of the video. Can't I just do this on the internet? And the answer, of course, is yes. Actually, if you can make some friends online before you even go, that'll make everything a lot easier. Problem is that Japanese people actually tend to be a lot more analog than you imagine. Uh, getting to know people who are into the music scene, especially, I think, uh, and especially if you don't really read or write Japanese, can actually be pretty hard. Uh, but again, not impossible and a lot more people are making an effort to learn English and making an effort to talk to people outside of Japan and are really interested in that lately. So I urge you to go out there, try to make some new friends, make some new experiences, maybe make some new music together even. That would be awesome. And that's it for now. Oh, since I didn't introduce myself properly, I'm gonna introduce myself properly. So, my name is Inger and I am in a band called The Number Zero. And please, like, check out all of our stuff. It'll all be in the description. And, yes. Bye. Again.